Hello, welcome back to the cookie chat where we are just two basic bakers letting loose and keeping it real. I am Chelsea with Rolling in the Dough AZ. Hey y'all, I'm Melissa with Mizzy P Sweets. And welcome back to our page. If you haven't already, go ahead and like and subscribe below and ring the notification bell so you can be notified every time a new video goes live. And when we mean video, right now it is still audio only over on YouTube. However, if you join our We Patreon, heard the cries. <laughs> <laughs> we're working on it, you guys. Um, it's all adjustments. But our Patreons, hello. You get to see our lovely faces today. So. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So we did hear that you guys like seeing our reactions and things like that. So patrons get a little view. We are not promising like full glams or anything like that, but you can see our facial expressions <laughs> over there. <laughs> um, but yeah, so a lot of times we'll record like late at night and stuff. So like lighting's not always the best and stuff yeah. like that. So um, it's not full like YouTube glam stuff, but you can see us pop on over there. Um, yeah. So you can see us over there. But anyways, I am, I actually, we didn't have a, an episode plan this week and a lot happened this past week on social media on um, specifically Instagram, which is kind of where we live. And the Meta Verified program came out and I kind of dug deep on this and um, did a lot of research and I did go through the process and there have been so many questions that have come in. So I told Chelsea, hey, why don't we kind of do a deeper dive on this and answer all these questions that you guys may have too. Um, so if there is anything that we do not answer, go ahead and drop it down in the comments and we will just keep the discussion going. Mm -hmm. uh, but first and foremost, I wanted to say we, there's a lot of different perspectives with this. Um, we both follow a lot of just kind of people who are very heavy into meta and Instagram and marketing and just growing your business on that. So that's where we get a lot of our information, Chelsea and I both do. And so we see all the sides of it. We understand all the sides of it. It is, we want to first and foremost say, this may be something that makes absolutely zero sense for your business. And we are going to go over that. So we just want to be clear that we do not pick one side over the other. We personally do not have judgment over one side or the other. I chose to move forward with the program for my business, the way that my business is structured. Chelsea at this moment does not have it. And so we are going to learn more about both sides of it. So that's what we like to do guys. That's why Chelsea and I are different types of bakers. So that's, we are. that's what we love bringing to you guys. So we just want to kick off with that of like, there is no right or wrong. It really depends on what makes sense for your business and your business goals. So that being said, um, um, first question though, before we dive into it, can you explain for those who are not tech savvy, what meta means? We hear this word all the time, oh, Sure, sure. but so nobody explains it. Okay. Yes, this is true. So Meta itself is the larger conglomerate incorporating Instagram and Facebook. It's just, the, is it just those two right now? God knows. There's, I mean, there's a lot. Those are the big ones that we, that we deal yes. with. <laughs> yes. Um, so when you hear Meta, it is, it, it started out, it's been Facebook buying everything up. Um, but yeah, when you hear Meta, that's what it incorporates. So Twitter is not included in that. Um, Pinterest is not included in meta. Are they? I don't know. You know, what? I, I have no idea. I mean, they don't have the verified programs, so they're not included in what we're talking about today. Um, yeah. but it is a larger conglomerate. So, and, and TikTok, TikTok is, is separate. TikTok is not included. <laughs> we do know have, that one. If you have seen all of the drama that's going on, um, with the current court case, Chelsea, you follow court cases so close. I do. You been, have you been watching it? Any of the no, I live told you guys, footage? <laughs> TikTok is not my, I mean, yeah. I like now going on it to search like random things, like how to make a peppermint tea recipe. Right. Like that is, I feel like it's almost the new Pinterest in that form. But yeah. as far as like creating content, no, I don't. Um, the talks scare me. Yeah. So. Yeah. But that being said, a little plug for next week's episode, guys, is we do have Maddie from Guardy Goodies. She is huge on TikTok. She is well-versed at TikTok. So we are going to have her on next week. I think it's going to be a Thursday episode just because of how all of our schedules net out. 
Um, but I am excited to pick her brain about TikTok, especially with the trial and everything going on right now with TikTok. So um, basically, if you don't know, just a very super high level. Um, the U.S. government is like is on trial with TikTok of like having it possibly banned in the U.S. And a big um, person who's pushing that is Meta. <laughs> or a big company that's pushing that they're basically saying Shocker. That, yeah they're basically saying that um like the data is just being used inappropriately and all of that so uh, i have a hard time imagining that they're going to be able to get that passed um and do away with tiktok but it's interesting to follow so anyways that's the larger landscape of meta when we talk about meta especially in this particular thing we're talking about facebook and instagram so those are owned by one big company all right so, yeah. i am going to um ask you some questions because you are well versed in this more than my dear self so Explain to us what the blue check mark means now that we're seeing. Okay, well, let me back up and explain because they are kind of two separate entities now, um, even though visually they appear the same. So the blue chart, uh, the blue check mark was once reserved for public figures, um, and the reason that it came about is because these public figures. Um, would have a lot of like fan accounts and just imposters show up and try and impersonate as that famous person in order to try and gain followers or even sell products. And so um, in order for Instagram to grow because they need celebrities and public figures to grow and to sell things on there and use their platform, they said, okay, we need a way to protect these people. And so the blue check mark was a way for them to protect those people and those people's fans to say, yes, this is in fact this person. So a lot of times if you look up a public figure, there's going to be like multiple accounts for them. And some of them will say like fan page or whatever, but if it has a blue check mark, you know that that's actually that person or that person's team that is running that page. So you can trust that you're getting the information from the right source. Um, in order to get that blue check mark, you had to go through a process of just kind of validating that through multiple news sources or um, like hosting a show or like agent work, things like that, that you had to show and verify. It used to be very commonplace and pretty easy to get it passed. And um, nowadays it is extreme. It's been more and more difficult. I think one of the biggest things that we'll dive into more on this is just meta has a problem with really like beefing up the manpower the way that they, the way that they should for as large as they are. And so I think that part of it is just purely like not having manpower in the right places to make that happen. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really difficult. So in our world, the people who you see generally in the baking world that have the blue check mark, a lot of times are people like, um, who have cookbooks, who have had very like famous blogs ahead of time, who maybe have like a really well-known YouTube channel that have, um, or like who have hosted a show or something like that. So those are people. And it, it, sometimes it would be Instagram that would reach out to those people saying like, okay, we have a lot of people like impersonating this. Is this you? Can we offer this to you? Um, and sometimes they would have to like go through like an agent or a manager or something like that to try and like get all that approved. And there was also an issue of like, I've had this before where it's just like scam accounts that reach out and are like, we could, if you pay us this much money, we can get you a blue check mark. But those are all scams. Uh, scam, scam, scam central. So that's what the blue check mark originally was. Um, so now what this is, is a, it's called meta verified. Um, and so this is a paid program. It's a monthly payment through, and you can do it for Instagram only, or you can do it for Facebook only, or you can do the two of them together. For Instagram specifically, I think it was $14.99 a month right now. Uh, if you want to tack on your Facebook, I think it ends up being like 25 something or something like that a month. And um, it will get you the blue check mark. Um, but what it does that the other program does not do is it creates this extra layer of security and a support team. Um, so, if you've seen, I know recently we had somebody in our community whose account got hacked. And when it gets hacked with that, 
it, it, it's multiple things that can mean. Um, but basically like she couldn't log into her account. So, and she didn't know when she would get it back. Um, I think it ended up being a couple of weeks. I know that it could have been even more. She was able to get a hold of somebody that worked at Meta who was able to actually like a friend, um, like calling in a favor sort of thing and being able to go in and get that bumped up the list. But basically if your account gets hacked, you just kind of go into the click system on the, on the thing and just have to wait for somebody to flip the switch and, Help have you, you ever out. had your account get hacked? No. What I have had um, is when you do giveaways a lot of times, if you do contests or giveaways, you have people impersonate your account. So I have had people took my exact um, profile picture, changed like one letter in my, or added like a, you know, an underline or something like that and made an account so that, and would like actively reach out to um, my followers to make it seem like they were me. Um, so that's another thing that is very rampant and just bots in general are becoming so prevalent. You're frozen. Okay. Now we got okay. you back. Is it back? Yeah. I saw myself freeze. <laughs> Um, I'm not taking that out. Patrons, that's what you get, guys. <laughs> you can see my frozen face. Um, okay, so yeah, just all of the impersonation and all of the tech hacking and everything, it's just becoming very, very, very prevalent. Um, I I honestly don't know what these hackers get out of it, aside from just like a high of some sort. Well, sometimes depending on the business, I know my uncle's business was hacked and he had to pay to get oh, his information. Oh, it's like back. a ransom. Yeah. So um, they'll hold it. It just depends because sometimes if you have other things linked, mm, then they can gain, which is our moment to express to all of you. Make sure you have different passwords for different oh. social media sites and do not use your same password for like your banking that you would use for your Instagram. Yeah. Because once it's found out, they can trial and error Everything. a lot of different websites. So if you have not done that, here's your spring cleaning notification yeah. to change your passwords. <laughs> Woohoo. Uh, yeah. And turn your two-step auth uh, verification on. Um, but even then, they that's a great like barrier to entry of protecting yourself. But even then. It goes beyond. So this is different. So I guess going back to what I was saying is that that if you hear we live in a flight path, so that's an airplane. Um, okay, so the original blue check mark, those people, well, I guess I need to go into the layer of the security, right? So what the MetaVerify program gives you is security measures against hackers. So you basically are put on a list and that list is monitored for anybody trying to imp make impersonation profiles with that. And those will get shut down. You are on a heightened list for actively looking for people trying to hack your account. Um, and the biggest thing for me was that you have an immediate communication line to meta help. And so the moment that I verified and the moment that I got it, I have now an extra thing in my profile that is meta verified communication. I can email them about any question that I have. If I have an issue with a highlight, if I have an issue with like a certain person or blocking or just any sort of question, I can reach out to them and I will get a response within two hours. Um, I know a couple of people have already reached out to them and they got responses in less time than that. Um, so I think that is one of the biggest things for me because the thing that has been so scary with just the security features of it is that, it, you know, you're just like kind of out there <laughs> like in the meta like cloud, but you're just on a waiting list. And so this kind of like skips past that into it into a more active um, communication line with Meta. So that is something that people who have the old school 
blue check mark, the public figure check mark do not have. So they're actually encouraging people who do have the old school way to actually get this added platform like put into place because then they are protected on the more protected list. So do you think that they're going to put a cap on this? Because that sounds like you know, a lot of work. If everybody does it, how are they going to have the manpower to? I I don't know that. And I, I think originally when they put this out there, they said that it was also going to increase reach and visibility. And I think that they pulled back on that for a few reasons. I think that it kind of takes away from one people spending ad spend. Um, and I think that it needs to focus around the security. I think the security is the main issue and this, and the, the communication lines is the main issue. And so I actually am happy that they pulled back on saying that it's going to help with reach and just like, I'm sorry, but there's been enough change with the algorithm. Like, let's stop messing around with like doing these different things to the algorithm and let's like put in place some more measures to focus on what we need to focus on, which is some of these security measures. Um, I don't, well, and I, I do think that when they took that away, it kind of eliminates a lot of people that would have been getting it just purely for the reach aspect and paying for it purely for the reach aspect. Well, so, I also think it discourages if you don't pay. It's like, why do I need to feed into this app? Because it's not going to push my stuff anyway. So what's the point? Like yeah, it would deter totally. so many people. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I agree with that. So that, again, is kind of why I'm glad that they took that aspect of it away. That being said, I, I think at least from the, from the get-go, and they're rolling this out. So not everybody has it. They actually tested it in Australia and New Zealand first. Uh, and I'm in Texas and I have access to it. I don't know um, how long it's going to take them to roll it out among everybody. But um, like as of right now, I definitely don't see more reach. But what I have heard from people, especially I, I heard a chat with um, one of the people that I follow. Her name is Jade and she is in Australia. And so she was part of the test program and she's like, I don't see necessarily, it's hard to say exactly what is from natural reach versus from meta verified. But she did say, she's like, I mean, there is like some, you know, if you're reaching out to somebody and you have a blue check mark just right now, because of the landscape that we've had thus far with what that means, it definitely can help like raise an eyebrow of getting you answered or getting, you know, you're like shown kind of at the top of the list of like who's commented or who has said anything, or you kind of get through to the primary inbox versus like being more stuck in the waiting room, I guess. Um, but that's something that I'm curious of, like, will that kind of die down? I don't know. So interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but as far as thinking through, like, does this make sense for me as a small business owner or as a home-based baker? Again, for me, it came to the security feature of it. Um, if Instagram is my, my main sales funnel, right? I mean, I have my email and I have texting. And I think that that is, as we all saw when Instagram went down that one time and people are trying to launch stuff, like that's scary. You've got to have your database somewhere. You also want to have, um, if, if we use it as our photo album of where we send people, make sure it's not the only place that those things are stored. Have a Dropbox, have something to where all of that work that you had is not lost. Um, Chelsea, I know that you use Pinterest. We talked about this on our Patreon episode last week of how to utilize that. And that is really how you show your entire book of work. Instagram is where I show my book of work. I don't show it on my website. Yes, I have all of my um, stuff there. I, I, well, I have all of it in my photos and everything. But as far as like, if, if a brand wants to work with me, if somebody wants to take an online cookie class or something like that, or wants to see my skill level, that is where people reach out to me. That is where people see me. So the 
idea of that all of a sudden going away and having nobody to help me is, is scary. And we see, we've, I've seen it more than once in just our community. And so to me, it was a level, it was a small price to pay of, of, for instance, how I buy food insurance for my baked goods. It's another level to me of it's a business write-off it's insurance for myself. It's something that is nice to have. I hope that I don't have to like actively use that one day, but for me, it's a peace of mind of that, of knowing that it's there. And also I do think like if somebody is like wanting to take a cookie class or it's a brand or it's, um, you know, a customer reaching out and they do see a blue check mark right now, because of what we've known the blue check mark to be, I think it adds a little bit even more of like, Ooh, factor right now, as it goes on and what meta is, I think more so leaning into why they're doing this is to pr protect personal businesses uh, and sole proprietor businesses is just to verify and say, this is legitimately who this person is. This has been verified. This is legitimized. And so I feel like it just kind of adds like, almost like if you ever see like the Google guarantee verification on a website, it's kind of like that for me too, is how I see it. Nice. What do um, you think, Chels? <laughs> I don't know. I can see both. I can, I will definitely say the moment people were like, oh, I want my reach. I was like, axed. Don't yeah. even, I think that a hundred percent. I think that's pretty shady. If that's how they're going to approach it is like, we'll promote you if you pay us. It's like, mm, that yeah. leaves a really bad taste in my mouth. Um, I think it takes away from the authentic growth, which I know has changed as it's been. Yeah. Um, to me, it was if somebody spent like that wasn't paying great amount of time to do content and then somebody who was just half-assing it but is paying to get their stuff. Like to me, I was like, ugh. Well, it's I, like paying for the likes, right? Yeah. Or paying for followers. I put it in yeah. the same category as that. So that when I had a few people reach out like, are you going to do this? Because I'm like, Absolutely not. Like if that yeah. is the number one push for it, and that's probably really cynical on my end, but I'm like, no, there's something to me about like the authenticness of it. So um, I can understand the more I've listened to different things and obviously as you're explaining now, um, the added protection with the security is nice. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Instagram is my bread and butter. 100% is where everything is. I do have Pinterest as a backup. Because yeah. back in the day, your accounts would get hacked like crazy. So yeah. I do have my whole collection. I don't know. As a small business, um, I don't know. I'm still really on the fence. I'm not for it. I'm not against it in any means. But yeah. that's like a hundred, almost two hundred dollars. Hundred what eighty something? What's fifteen times twelve? Hey Siri, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's hundred eighty. What's fifteen times twelve? 50 times 12. Is oh, that's 50. It's not, it's not $50 a month. Yeah. Whatever it might be. Shy of 200. 180. Yeah. yeah 180. Okay. Um, yeah. A year on that, like as a small business, especially when you're growing and starting out, I don't know, that could be utilized in different areas. Um, I know I talked to Melissa about, for example, our texting platform that mm -hmm. we have um, for that being comparable in price for your month for me to reach out to my customers and to facilitate like, Hey, I now have, I'm launching my presale. I'm opening my books. Hey, rem reminder, pick up today. Totally. That as a small business, I could efficiently, if I'm going to money management, something could bring me more sales for this. Again, the security I understand. Um, but unless there's more than that for it, I'm kind of like, I could better utilize, I know it's only $15, but $15, especially when you're growing, every dollar counts. Totally. Um, so if something is going to bring you more sales and be more efficient for you, I don't, I don't hate on that. I say, put your money where it's going to give you more of a return. So um, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I, can also I know. I think it's, it's not, it, it's definitely, I, I, I view it more of if it's established and it's one of the main ways that you're bringing in new dollars, mm -hmm. 
You know, like if that is, if that is, if you are selling mostly online and that is where your main stuff is, I know, like I get it. I do worry because just from perspective of you communicate with your customers solely through Instagram. So that's the only thing that I fear on your end, but well, and this is my other thing. Like, I just want to be very clear that the fact that you have to pay somebody because their security system potentially breaks. That's what deters me. I'm like, that's BS. Yes. I totally, yeah. oh, believe me. <laughs> I, I 100% understand that it's BS, but I'm also, I mean, I'm also in a world of social media consulting, you know, like. It's, yeah. And I feel like you have a different perspective on it too, because your business has shifted and you're like selling to not just your local community. So I can see where yours is a whole shift in dynamic and then your secondary job. Right. Where as a local, I'm like, yeah. Okay. Well then if I had my texting platform, I could just text all my customers. Hey, my Instagram got hacked. Like exactly. Exactly. Mm. That's my thing. I'm like, I just feel like if you're selling online cookie classes or yeah, that's different. Yes. Or like, this is your like entire, like if, if you're handling like your, your payment platforms and you're like, if you're handling that stuff through this, like and you're using this as your website, like that to me is just like the added, like to me that that's worth it. If you are just starting out, would this be on my like business checklist to, to start your bakery? No. That's where I'm kind of like looking at it through the perspective <laughs> of like a all. new baker. But I also, I also wouldn't recommend going to cookie con your first year. Like that is that's a huge expense, you know, like that, if you are just kicking your business off for the first year, there, there are things that I think are like goals that you do as you go, mm -hmm. I guess. It's yeah. And that's where I say, like, I'm looking at my budget for how much I pay a month for my website. Yeah. That, I mean, is a lifesaver mm -hmm. versus... I mean, cross my fingers, knock on wood. I'm six years, seven years deep on my Instagram. And yeah. I mean, I do have a little connection to the Insta. So yeah. I'm fingers crossed if I needed to pull that string. But totally. yeah, I don't know. I, I yeah, I, again, I'm not against it. I just would I like know. to see how it's going to work because my other thing, like I asked is, is there going to be a cap? Because if this gets oversaturated, how are you going to guarantee me my... Oh, totally. customer service. So and that's part of me. Like I'm kind of like, especially now that I'm in the world of like social media consulting stuff, I'm like excited to be kind of the guinea pig in it. I'm like, yeah, I'll give you my dollars right now and we'll see how it goes. And then I can let all of you guys know <laughs> yeah, how you that, do that works. <laughs> you do that. Yes. I think, yeah, it's definitely a difference. I, I think I'm looking at it more from a local small town baker yeah. perspective is it's not going to gain you traction and it progressive not, forward it will not gain you reach no it won't yeah it won't oh and i do want to talk about too like what are the requirements even for mm -hmm. it here's the other thing if you if your account is um like doesn't have much feed and doesn't have much content on it you're not even going to be able to get approved like you have to have an established um page already an activity to even like get approved you also have to include your name that is on your government ID exactly as it is in your profile name. So this is the first time I've ever had my actual government ID name in it because what they're trying to do is protect the actual person. And well, like you know, if your account person. gets hacked, that's one of the ways they verify it, right? Huh? If your account gets hacked uh -huh. to give you back your account, there's yeah. this whole step. One of them, you have to take a picture yeah. holding up with your thing, and then you have to send oh, in your ID. Your ID. So yeah. if it matches your ID, then that's... Well, and so that's the thing. They have You have to send in your government ID too. So a picture of the front and the back. And so, and you have to have a picture of your face. On yeah. Your you have to do all of that to get your account back if it gets hacked too. Yeah. So those are all the things that you have to do as you go through getting verified. So if you don't already have that and it is something that you want to do, then just a heads up, you do have to have a picture of your face. As your profile, right? As your profile picture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So no logos. No logos. And I actually, I mean, you and I have talked about this before 
and I've seen it mentioned other places before too, but I, I actually lean towards having a professional like picture of your face as your profile picture. If you are like a sole proprietor, like person that's running the business, um, and then have, and I actually talked through this with somebody earlier this week who was going through the verified program and, um, she was concerned about that. And I, I suggested having your logo as the highlight covers. Like if you're wanting the branding to show through and you're wanting people to make sure that they are in the right place, have something with your logo that's pinned at the top of your feed. And then also like you can utilize your logo throughout the highlight covers is what I recommend just to have your brand recognition there from a logo perspective, if you want. Um, but I actually personally like having a, a, like a professional looking headshot of yourself. Um, it's just, I think it adds, um, just a layer of authenticity that this person knows who they are talking to, that this is like owned by an actual person. And like, that's, who's running it. I think just as a home-based baker, especially, um, I don't know. I, I like that layer of authenticity and just personalization to it. So I go back and forth. Sometimes I have my, sometimes I feel like my face is too much on my social media. I'm like, oh God. <laughs> well, and that's the thing. I know we do a lot of reels that kind of show yeah. us too. So exactly. To um, but yeah, I switch back and forth. I've had both yeah. all the above switched out. Um, yeah. Isn't it also you have to be a creator right now? No, it has that on the documentation. It says that, but Jade, the girl from Australia that got verified, she has her account as a business account. Okay. I wish. Instagram would get their stuff together and so figure out business and creator because I, I don't even truthfully right now. I cannot tell you what account I have because yeah. I have toggled between business and creator to make music work for me. Yes. Yeah. So totally. I'd so rather have music. It's really important if you are going into doing like Instagram ads and like putting money into that, like platform on it. Uh, then you want the business account, but yeah, it like, I just, I wish that they would get the business or the music stuff set up on the business side. I know that's frustrating. I'm sure it has to do with music regulations and things like that, but it is frustrating. I know those are, I guess the main things that people have asked about is, well, and if you want to know how to get approved, um, I went through the process. There's a reel on my, um, on Missy P Sweets Instagram, there's a reel and it kind of walks through the steps of like what to look at on your account. Um, you can obviously deactivate it anytime you want. You can add it. If you're like maybe wanting to go to try and get on a TV show or something. And, you know, if you feel like a blue check mark would help you in that at all, or also honestly, it also helped protect you <laughs> if, um, you know, because there's just added stuff. If there's going to be added visibility at any time, that might not be a bad idea to have that as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can turn it off and you can turn it on. You get the communication. You have to have your profile picture and your name on there. And yeah, I'm excited to be the guinea pig for you guys and just like help answer the questions and see how it goes. As of right now, it's true to form. I think from a reach perspective, I haven't really noticed anything. I mean, I think reach goes through ups and downs. I think sometimes like certain profiles, like certain reels or certain pictures start hitting hard and they have kind of like a lifespan with them and mm -hmm. you'll see like a nice jump. From there, um, the reels bonus is no longer. Um, so they did take that away. So do you think they'll bring that back? I don't know. I don't know. I, it's just so hard to predict things with Instagram right now. Well, I feel like it's with any just, social, I know anything social. Well, and I think that that's, what's kind of, it's frustrating sometimes as a business owner, but on the other side of it from a person who's like diving so much more into it, it is like, I don't know. It's in a way it's, it's kind of cool that it is ever evolving. And I think that's what I would say to people too, who are getting frustrated by certain changes and things like that is just remember that 
it's always changing Mm -hmm. and it's always adapting and no Instagram is not the same as it was when it first came out. Facebook is not the same as it was when it first came out. Like, I think that's one of the things that we all have to accept and let go is that things are going to change. People hated reels when they first came out, you know, and it's, and now I'm kind of like sad that reels aren't as, I just, I feel like in one way, at least in our community, the reels have been really cool. Like I've learned so many techniques Mm -hmm. and like seen so many different things from the reels now that we've become accustomed to it, you know? I I love reels. I know you've always loved reels. It's just, I think it's- That's the only thing I like hopped on at the very beginning. Everything else, Melissa's always like, I'll do it. And I'm like, no, let me sit back and watch. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's so funny to me that you're not a TikTok person because that's like why reels came to be. I probably would be. It's just the brutal comments. I do not want to deal with that. That's where I'm like, Mm. I'll read the comments under it. And I'm like, it's the most innocent thing in people, which we'll talk about next week. But I'm like- that's where I just back off. Yeah. So I would love it. There's a lot of times that I'm like, oh, I could totally do this, but I know, I know. Yeah. So uh, it's interesting. I mean, I am very happy to see that pictures are performing mm-hmm. better now. Um, carousels are performing really great right now. Did you ever notice the real difference in your stuff with that? Like when reels are being pushed at your pictures? Yes. You really? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't, there was not that big of a, I mean, uh, obviously I'd had reels that performed exceptionally well, Yeah, but it didn't ever take away from my photos. So that's where I was like, I I know some people. I, well, I, and I guess it's hard to say because they changed all videos into reels. Like I would have videos Mm -hmm. that were tutorials that, you know, I guess so it all, it all kind of changed, but I have seen much more, um, reach with photos in the past few weeks than I have. Hmm, that's previously. interesting. Maybe it's just the content itself. <laughs> <laughs> it could be, and that's where it's really hard to tell sometimes. And it can be really discouraging. Is it like, is it me or is it the algorithm? Like mm-hmm. who's the problem here? I but, know. I know. I know. Yeah. I just, I think as long as you're hitting your target audience and hitting your goals. That's where I just totally everybody's is different. Melissa's business is night and day of mine. So your reach is worldwide. Mine is, I don't know, a hundred mile radius. So yeah, Yeah. everything looks different, but yes, not right. Not wrong. We're open to all of it. Melissa's going to be our guinea pig and change my cynical heart. (laughs) I don't want to say I'm cynical of it. I just, I always am like, well, how is this going to play out? What yeah. I, I just this probably sounds bad too, but I'm like, are you going to take the give it to us, take it back? Like, you know how when at first they're like in rails and then back and then this yeah. and back. Or like, or well, okay. And <laughs> there are definitely like people who who got the blue check mark who were not happy that all of a sudden now you can pay and get a blue check mark. Okay, perfect like, example. When I got the link, the link, yeah, yes. The link. And yep. And it, see, you Instagram has 10, tricked 000. me I know. far too many times. There you go. See, they're already on your bad list. Yeah. You had to have <laughs> 10,000 followers to get the link. And yeah, same day they announced everybody gets the link is when you got your 10,000. Yeah. So I'm like, and then same thing with reels, like the real bonus. Then it was yeah. like, oh, once I got it, it was like, okay, now it's shifted. Like you get your like initial mm-hmm. first. Yeah. I was like, oh, I think that's part of too why I'm excited to jump on the bandwagon because I think it's one of the first things that Instagram's released where I've been around or in it enough to like be able to jump on the bandwagon yeah. first. Um, and so, yeah, I was Yeah. Like, when it came Whoa. through and I checked it, like when it first I got sent the notification, it's not available in my area anyway. So yeah. even if yeah. I wanted to hop onto this, I probably could not. I know. I know. So yeah, yeah, I know. I'm, yeah, I'm excited to hop on it from the beginning and just like get in there and see anything. So if anybody has questions that they want me to reach out to the hotline about, you <laughs> well, let's let recap. So right now it's, Protect, you get immediate connection to customer service. Yep. You have an immediate customer service representative. It protects you against um, like Hackers. fraud or impersonation yep. accounts. So it's added layer of protection there. Um, 
I mean, those are, that's, that's the key stuff. Okay. And you get in, in a blue check. Yeah. I yeah. mean, that's, that's, yeah. So yeah, there you go. those are the key features. Um, so yeah, just think about if it makes sense for you, or if it doesn't, again, we're here for you guys. Either way, we, we both have, one of us has it, one of us doesn't. And I don't see that changing. <laughs> I'm again, I, I understand the security aspect and I like that. It's just to me, it's ridiculous to pay. If it was like 15 a year, but like right. monthly for yeah. a customer well, service I mean, that I may I do, or may not use. I do think that they, I do think that they put some thought. I do think that they put some thought into the price because they, they needed to keep a little bit of exclusivity with it. Um, yeah. Because if it's just, you know, if it is $15 a year, then every single, like, what's the point? Every single person's going to do it. Right. Um, right. So I, I do think that they needed to have it at a price point that kind of like, okay, this is an investment. It's for people who are like at a serious level. Well, and it's pretty comparable to like a website host, what you yeah. pay monthly to own your domain and totally. stuff like that. And just to point out too, I'm not active on Twitter, but Twitter already has this program and has had mm -hmm. this program. And so Chelsea, you said, what all can they do with that? I believe it was, you can edit your tweets. Like once you send a tweet, you can't edit it in Twitter. Yeah. But once you're verified, you can do that. I think you can go back Man. and yeah, there's all those drunk people are so happy about that. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So as business, I can get certain things like, again, I can see both perspectives on it and I can see this being, again, yeah. if you do choose to do it, it is a write-off because it is a business oh, yeah. protection. So very similar to your apps that you use, your mm -hmm. business insurance, all of that, mm -hmm. that you can carry. Um, I can, again, I do see value in it for the social media insurance of it. Yeah. Um, like you would pay for a website, but I'm like, oh my gosh, another thing to pay for at this moment. I'm going to sit back, see how long this lasts. For sure. What changes occur. And then maybe round two. I'll yeah. Yeah. Check it out. Um, and just before we sign off, anybody on YouTube, well, we'll try and see if we can post pictures of us in these. Um, <laughs> but yeah, if you're on Patreon, these are our new, if you guys liked and loved our Sleepy Bigger, it was our best-selling merch this past yes. fall, was it? it They're was. oversized tees. They are my favorite for sleeping. I use them as like little nightgowns. Um, but the <laughs> I go out in these. <laughs> <laughs> the aqua, what would you call this? That's mint. Mint. It is a bright mint. Um, yeah. Has the little smiley face with Baker underneath it. It's and happy Chelsea's, Baker. Chelsea's wearing um, one with just the smileys. So if you don't need something brand new as a Baker, then that one's the way to go too. So they are yeah. definitely oversized, super comfy, super cute with like leggings or biking shorts or something like that. Yeah. I would say, and for sizing wise, we would size down on these mm -hmm. and it would still give the oversized yeah. Effect because I yeah. usually will wear a medium and then size up to the large so I can get the like, it looks like oversized this, I would stick with medium or I could mm -hmm. even go small. Yeah. So. Yeah. And they are long, so it's not like they're like crop topped or anything. Yeah. If these you're launch, short, <laughs> these launch Friday, right? So this comes yes. out Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So you guys get ready. Patreon gets 15% mm -hmm. discount. And so it's at domestic cookies. So keep an eye out for that again. Next week we have Maddie with Guardy goodies talking TikTok. So yeah, guys, thanks for awesome. being here. We hope that this was helpful, informative, gave you some things to think about, jot down some questions below and, um, yeah, thanks for being here. Thank oh, you. Sign off, right? <laughs> I'm Chelsea with Rolling in the Dough AZ. I'm Melissa with Missy P Sweets. May your cakes never be dry. And your icing be shiny and crater free. Have a good one. <laughs>